Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that can put a damper on any Florida trip. Sun Pass. You've probably seen them advertised. The electronic toll system that lets you breeze through tolls without cash. But before you jump in, let's see if it's all sunshine and rainbows. Sun Pass does have its perks, let's be real. Their big draw is the Sun Pass Pro. They say it works in 22 states, including Florida, Georgia, Kansas, Oklahoma, parts of Texas, and anywhere EZ Pass is accepted. That's a lot of ground covered. Imagine cruising through tolls without scrambling for cash. Sounds pretty sweet, right? Here's why Sun Pass might seem tempting. Forget the frantic search for cash at toll booths. Sun Pass keeps things smooth. Sun Pass Pro supposedly works across a huge area, eliminating the need for multiple transponders. They offer online account management so you can top up your balance, keep an eye on things, and maybe even manage transponders for multiple cars. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But hold on, there's another side to the story. All right, buckle up, because online reviews paint a different picture. Many users report major headaches with customer service. Long wait times, difficulty reaching anyone, and problems getting issues resolved seem to be a common theme. Not a great first impression. If you're visiting from another country, you might be out of luck with the SunPass app. Apparently, downloading and using it can be a struggle for non-U.S. citizens. That's a major barrier if you're relying on tolls. This one can be a real buzzkill. Many users complain they can't use non-U.S. credit cards or bank cards directly at tolls. For international visitors without cash handy, this can be a major hassle. Getting your transponder registered, especially for a rental car, or if you're visiting from abroad, seems to be a frequent source of frustration. Confusion, delays, and even potential fines are all mentioned in reviews. Not exactly a relaxing way to start your vacation. Be super careful. There are reports of a sneaky phishing scam targeting SunPass users. These fake websites look real and try to steal your personal information. Yikes. It's important to remember that online reviews can be subjective, but the sheer volume and consistency of negative experiences regarding SunPass's customer service, app, and payment system can't be ignored. SunPass offers the potential for convenient tolls across a large area. However, the negative online reviews about customer service, app issues, and payment systems are significant concerns. If you're a frequent Florida traveler who prioritizes convenience over potential customer service issues, SunPass might be worth a try. But for international visitors or those who travel less often, exploring alternative tolling options might be a smarter move. Ultimately, the choice is yours. By doing your research and comparing SunPass with other options, you can make an informed decision that best suits your travel needs. All right, everyone. That's all I have for today on SunPass. If you've had any experiences with SunPass, good or bad, leave a comment below and let's chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more honest travel talk. Until next time, safe travels.